just find your feet. So just draw the toes in and sink the hips and lengthen up through the spine. And just take a few slow, deep breaths. So while you're breathing in and out, you want the crown of the head floating up. You want your tailbone and sitting bones and your weight sinking down. You want your shoulders sinking down. Gently draw the toes in. Relax around the jaw as well. And you want to rest your chin on an imaginary ball. So you're, it's like you're holding a, a ball under your chin so that it doesn't fall out. Relax the hands. Just gently breathe in and breathe out. So you're feeling the hips sink, the shoulders sink, the head float up and the feet touching the ground. You're gently breathing in and breathing out and noticing your breath. So just pay attention to your breathing, just feel the breath as it goes in. Feel the breath as it comes out. Relax around the jaw. Relax around the knees. Feel the weight going through your feet. 50-50. Notice the breath as it comes in. Notice the breath as it comes out. Notice the sounds you can hear behind and above. Very gently transfer the weight through the balance point of one foot and the balance point of the other. So want to make sure your hips are in line with the rest of your body. So you're keeping this all like one line between the foot, knee, hip and shoulder. You're softly gazing forwards, listening behind. You're aware of your breathing. You're aware of the posture. And you're aware of the contact with your feet and the ground. Keep breathing some more. Try and get your weight going through the same spot in each foot. Again, let go in your lower back. And practice your alert 
but relaxed gaze. Okay, to the middle. Just very gently rock forwards and back. I'll just show you that from the side. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm it's almost like you've got a puppet that you've just that you pull up first and then allow to settle. And this bit, it's almost as if you're about to sit down on a chair. And then I'm going forwards and back. So I want to relax around the ankles. I want to relax my foot, but gently hold with my foot. So as I'm going forwards and back, I'm noticing what I feel in my ankle joint, as well as what I feel under my foot. And think of the, the feet as being a, a spring. Gently breathe in and breathe out. Notice your toes. So keep going forward and back and just pay attention to what you're feeling in your toes. It might be, might not be anything, but just find out anyway. And then let go in your lower back again. So you want to sink these hips, lengthen through the spine. And it's this yeah, developing your your kind of calm observer. You're 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 watching what's going on as well as doing what's going on. And just sink, sink down, relax. Very good. And then we combine the forwards and back with a side to side and we get our rounds and round. Just notice how the sensation of contact through the feet changes and how it moves. Again, sink the hips, sink the shoulders, lengthen, softly gazing forward, listening behind and above. And Change. And feel just yourself settle, breathing naturally, nice and relaxed. Okay, and then sink down and then a figure eight.
figure eight in the other direction if you can work out what that is. Again, you're relaxing your ankles, you're relaxing the feet, but holding with the feet. Notice every now and then just scan through the body and see what else is going on. Relax, sink the hips. And sink down and lengthen. Okay, so when, when we do the first of the um, loosening exercises, think about turning from here and here to each corner and just really relax your shoulders. Relax the shoulders, relax the elbows, wrists and hands and just do a small movement to start off with. So you're just bringing the arms, the arms are very relaxed, but focus more on turning, definitely turning so that you're facing each of the corners in your room. Gently breathe in and breathe out and you're nice and calm. And you're operating from this very quiet space. You just let the, just let the arms move. Breathing in and breathing out. Sink the hips, softly gazing forwards, listening behind and above. Then really start letting the arms go. Keep breathing. Let go round your upper trapezius area, around the shoulders. Just let it relax and soften. Think of your supporting bones as holding you up or supporting you. And there's this upwards energy in the supporting bones and that the muscles are stinking. Okay, and then the inside turn. So you just turn. In the same direction as as where the weight's going. So if I'm in my left leg, I turn to my left. When I go to my right leg, I turn to my right. And the weight is going through that balance point in each foot. Ankles relaxed. While you're doing this, kind of cultivate some space in your body.
and we're all breathing. Very good. Just relax. Very good. Relax your elbows again. Okay, now we're going to change. We're going to do the outside turn. So find one leg and just wait there a minute. Make some space in the body. Tune into that calm place and then we move. So yeah, last Sunday I was at a meditation day retreat online. Um, Meditation is not one of my natural talents, but I still get a lot out of going to day retreats. And I did feel like I had more space that day. It was great. So, so kind of tuning into this very calm, whatever's going on outside. There's this calm, quiet place. And it's not like you're pretending there's nothing going on outside. Um, but what it is, is you give yourself enough room and give yourself enough space so that you've got the room to be able to effectively deal with things. So we're, it's quite reassuring when one of the people that came said, um, Oh, all this stuff that's going on, I'm, I'm feeling quite angry and a bit sad and blah, blah, blah. And, and then the guy that was teaching was, yes, I've been feeling angry and sad too. And it was like, oh, what a relief. And then I, I, I kind of almost felt this collective sigh. And well, yeah, of course. But that doesn't mean you can't do nothing. So it was actually quite reassuring, you know, so. We are working with finding our quiet space. Okay, and then back to the middle. Take a slightly wider stance. We, we will get on with things in a minute. Um, what I'd like to do today is, is focus on step back and repulse the monkey. Uh, we did it on, the, um, on our Monday night class and basically ended up doing Step Back and Repulse the Monkey for most of the hour and a half. And um, I thought, oh, yes, brilliant. So we're going to have a look at it today. We Unfortunately, we have, we've only got an hour class, but we'll just have to cope. So um, the next one is I turn my foot in. I'll just show it to you first, and then we'll join in. Then I transfer my weight. I sink down. So again, I'm giving myself room. I'm giving myself space. And then I turn. So if you look at my knee there, this knee is slightly bent. I'm opening my hip joint. Then I close, transfer, sink. So you really want to relax around this area here. You want to relax around here. That. And then this opens. So it's a bit like a door opening and the door closing. That's a door. Transfer the weight, sink and turn. And then you're also looking. So it's this relaxed but alert gaze. There we go. I think we got that. Yeah, join in when you. So I tend to have a slightly wider stance just to give myself a bit more room to do the, the movement in. And you want to you want to give yourself enough. Yeah, it seems to be my theme for the last seven months, I think. Goodness me, making sure you've got enough space. You know, I mean, even in this tiny room, I can still do things. And then a little bit quicker and then just add your, but you want to make sure that your knees are in line with the toes. So every now and then you need to rotate outwards in that, that hip joint so that the knee 
is in line. And we're all breathing. Fabulous. The pool and relax. And then have a little shake out. Just tune in to your feet and also. Imagine that your legs are made out of springs. You're nice and tall. You're, think about your, maybe someone pulling on your shoulders so you can, or that there's a stretch along the shoulders. Just allow your weight to settle. And we'll just up and down. And then relax the arms, nice and relaxed. And this, Keep the arms down for now, just to get that springy feeling. Feel that there's a pulling down from here to here. So think about the muscles. And turn. So we start like this, and then we'll just explore this one a bit more by putting a turn in as well. So you've got deep breathing, and then like this. I'll show you from the side. So one arm along the front, one arm towards the back, and I'm turning to the corner thereabouts. This will come in handy later. And then back to the original one. Relax the lower back and change. So really soften your body, nice and relaxed. And just let the arms go. Feel the ground on your feet, just let the arms like this. So I'll just show you that from the diagonal view. So I'm just, what happens is the arms will go slightly behind and I'm, I'm really just floppy firing everything and springy firing my legs. So this upward feeling in the, in the supporting bones. So the bones of my legs are holding me up, my spine's holding me up.
And then one, two, one, two. Again, I'll show you that from the other diagonal view. So I'm like this. So the, the arm, very relaxed, really let go in that shoulder joint. So it's a ball and socket joint. Returning. Oh, brilliant. You're turning and you're, you're sinking. Deep breathing. And if you have a look at the knees, knees are in line with the toes. Just let go. Oh. And then circle. Shake out. Okay, a little bit more on the loosening, and then we will we will get um, look at some more qigong exercises. But just really feel the ground under your feet. Sink the hips. We're going to sink forwards and sink back. So get your posture just so. Relax the shoulders. Sink the hips. Lengthen through the spine. Chin holding a small ball, looking forwards, listening behind, breathing. So you want your breathing, you're just noticing the breath as it comes in and out, soft, focused, alert gaze. Okay, try that on the other side. So you start off with your Wuchi, get that correct. And then you just take your time. So you may need to adjust the back foot. Uh, you might find that you need to adjust the feet as you're going forwards and back. And that's, that's, that's fine. and take out change again what we'll do is we'll do two turns per leg so i'll just demonstrate this the sideways view so the side on view and we're going to go one two one two one two one two so we do two turns at the back and we do two turns at the front i'll do, do it from the diagonal off we go one Two. So nice and easy. Three. And forwards and back. And turn. Five. Six, seven, eight, two more, nine and ten. So that's one side done. We better do the other side. Posture, space. 
Then you move. There you go. Nice and tall. Two turns. So take it easy. It's very kind of almost um, nonchalant the way you're moving. It's something that uh, Andrew Heckett, uh, he used to talk a, a lot about this kind of You want to look like it's just very easy to do. It's nice and relaxed. No, make sure your knees are happy. Okay, we'll do two more turns each side, and then we'll go forwards and back. Forwards and back. And just, oh, just let it all. Oh. Well, when you've got your heavy shopping, and then you just go, oh, just let them drop either side of you. That's it. So relax around the shoulders more. Feel the springs in your body. Nice springy feeling. And that one. Really soft and loose. Two more. Oh. All right, that was an epic loosening. Um, yeah. Okay, so just find your feet, lengthen through the spine. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Check your posture. Go into tall bow. Just do a few qigong exercises and then do something else afterwards. But just relax. And tuning into that quiet place of calmness and clarity. So completely undisturbable, whatever's going on, you're clear and yeah. Relax the elbows, relax the palms of the hands. Imagine you're moving through water. Okay, now we'll do one more. Let's let the arms go. Create some space under each of your arms. So remember your warm bread rolls, and then we're gonna wild goose. Sink the hips, relax the shoulders. Relax the shoulders some more. Relax the hands. One more repetition of these. Quiet calm space. Pop the clouds.
one more time. Really relax the arm. Just feel your posture for a, for a bit. If you need some water to get some, I'm just going to adjust this. So hopefully I can. Is that working? Is that? Ah, oh, brilliant. OK, so. Uh, oh, yeah, water break. Hang on. Brilliant. So dragon plucks the stars from the sky. So all week I've been not able to, ah, there you go, I got it, almost. So you just come up, stretch up. No, my hand is still disappearing, never mind. You'll just have to, so you go up, fall down, up. All Relax around the lower back. And one more. Sink down and yeah, we'll just do it one, one side at a time. Actually, I'll that's demonstrate from the diagonal. So just this. So from the side, it goes down, round, and then actually there's a slight scoop, there's a little scoopy thing going on. And then the other side, I'll just show that from the side. So you turn, feel this open. Again, good postural setup first. So that opens and You're nice and calm. Relax around the elbow. And 
and then Repulse the monkey. One more time each side. Nice and relaxed. Um, I'll move this back down again and slightly. And then uh, we're going to have a look at inspect the horse's mouth, roll back, ward off, and double handed push. So what I'll do is I'll demonstrate those from the from the side. So we get into a oh hang on. <laughs> we'll get into a right. Just, well now you can see my feet. Bow and arrow stance. Sink back, turn, hold the ball. Sink forward, inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off, double handed push, and from the front. So, this is like a coiled spring, and you release the spring, coil the spring, release the spring, double handed push, round it, inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back, ward off, double handed push. Okay, one more time, this side. Inspect the horse's mouth, roll back. Ward off. Double-handed push. A little shake out. And we do the same on the other side. Heel, toe, nice and tall, sink the hips, knees in line, with the toes. Sink, turn, hold the ball. It's like a coiled spring and then you release the spring, inspect the horse's mouth. Roll back. Ward off. Double handed push.
One more time. Okay, have a little shake out. Uh, what we're going to do now is have a look at Step Back and Repulse the Monkey. Uh, because of the space issues in this room, I'm going to only be able to demonstrate it really from a sideways perspective. Um, let me just see if I can. That might work. That's probably a bit better. Um, so. So you, when you do it, you'll have your left foot forward in left rooster stance. I'm going to demonstrate it with my right foot forward, so you're kind of mirroring. Just move that there. So I start in play the peeper. So left play the peeper. And you've got your, I'll come a bit closer. So you've got your left foot forward. Your left hand forward and the right hand, the fingers are in line on the crease of the right wrist. You're like this. Right. And you're in rooster stance. And then just watch. Goes one, two, step back and out, three, four. And then this doesn't happen normally, but I have to step forwards again because I need to step back three more times. One, two, three, four. Turn on the heel, turn on the ball of the foot, step out and back, four, and then one more. So the total number of step backs is four times. And then you're like this to finish off with. Let's just give it a bash. Okay, join in as my uh, fiddle teacher used to say. So one, two, three, four. Hopefully you've got more room than me. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. One more time. Four, two, three, Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. And you stay there if you've got enough room. I'll have to move again. Two, two, three, four. So on three, just your foot moves. The rest stays where it is. Three. Two, three, four. So that's where that scoop thing happens. Four, two, three, four. We'll just keep. We'll just keep doing it. One. Turn on the heel, and your your hands are like this. Two, turn on the ball of the foot, bring the hand to the side of the head. Three, step. Four, knee to up your foot, repulse the monkey. Okay, two, sink the hips. Two, three, four. Three. Two, three, four, and four. Two, three, four. So just relax a sec. So that um, in this particular school, so there's, there's various ways of doing uh, step back and repulse the monkey. Some, when I first learnt it with Ed Hines, we'd come straight out. Um, I've also done it where you kind of come down. Uh, and I've also done it in this particular school where you kind of come up. And they're all correct. Just so, 
just so we're clear. It just depends on how you're playing it. Uh, but this is one of the ways that they, um, it was Chu Banig, the, a teacher in London, uh, Thai, uh, I think he's a Thai monk, and uh, he, they, they're doing this kind of underneath. So it's like you're getting, you're getting underneath something. Uh, but if you've done it in other ways, that's all cool and it's all correct. It's just like um, I was listening to the Four Seasons at the weekend, um, the, the newer version, what Nigel Kennedy um, did for maybe, I don't know, five years ago or so. And I remember listening to Nigel Kennedy play it 30 years previously, or whatever it was. And then even though it was the same guy, the same music, the same notes, it actually, if you listen to both versions, it sounds completely different. In fact, if anything, the older version of Nigel Kennedy play it sounds a bit more kind of punky and in your face, the way he was playing the, the Vivaldi. And I'd never heard Vivaldi played like that. It was amazing. I was well impressed. So it's the same kind of thing. When you're, when you're looking at these movements, uh, each individual doing it and also each school will have its own particular flavour. It's like if you're listening to a tune, um, uh, a, re uh, um, a reel uh, played in County Clare, it's going to, and, it, and it, the same reel, it's going to sound different if it's in Donegal, it's going to sound different if, if it's in New York. It's a similar kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so when we're doing Step Back and Repulse the Monkey, the idea is you're harmonizing the you're harmonizing your emotional mind with your intent mind, with your logical mind. So and even though it's a bit complicated because there's all these things to coordinate, you want to have this air of clarity that's kind of pervading for it, and this air of, of relaxed control and clarity and intent. So have another look. So, so there's very little extraneous movement. You want to just keep the moves very clear, very smooth and calm. So if you were doing this in a room full of toddlers, You'd just be able to do the root, uh, the move and, you know, they'd be grabbing hold of your legs and things and you just wouldn't even, I mean, you'd be aware they were there, but they wouldn't be bothering you at all, if that helps. So it's like uh, the, the emotional mind is also called the, the monkey mind. So step back and repulse the monkey is a kind of almost like a bad translation. It's sort of, so this bit, Look at look at the um, look at the hand. So this hand is staying where it is. It's keeping something at bay, and then you swap them around. So it's kind of implacability, uh, but not as strong. It's this quiet implacability. It's very quiet, very relaxed, and clear. So let's try that again, but with this sort of not bothered. You're not bothered kind of feeling, you know. There's all these, there's all these screaming people. I ain't bothered. Here we go. One, two, three, four. But truly not bothered. Yeah. Oh. oh. Step back and repulse the monkey. That was so good, we'll do it again. Uh, I need the bigger room. Oh, well, I'm sure my next door neighbour won't mind if I just knock the wall down. It's <laughs> their room as well. Two. Three. Four. Four. That little skip is not really there. It's just because I, I need... Uh, I need one lot of step back and repulse the monkey's length, but that's okay. Right, let's do that again. Once more with feeling, everybody. Is my 
Hayley band leader often would say. Okay, now I'll do this little skippy thing. Then we've got a smooth run of three. So step back and repulse the monkey. We're all just like. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, whatever whatever's being thrown at you, you can just just felt very appropriate, especially after that day of meditation and whatever's going on, you're just, oh, okay, you know, there's all these fires and pandemics and blah, 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 and I'm just sort of, you know, you're not, you're not discounting that there's all this stuff going on, but you've just got that little bit of space, and you can go, oh, all right, yeah, what's next, yeah, come on, that's all fine, so sink down, nice and tall, just find that quiet space, Right, thanks Annette. And relax the shoulders. Sink the hips. You can you can catch the um, um if you do need to leave early. I have remembered to record it this time and it will be going up on the YouTube channel. So you can you can watch it all again. And then Think down. So stroking the back. So we'll we'll do do this one again next week. Step back and repulse the monkey, and then hopefully start joining joining some of the dots. And doing some sections and stuff, but we'll we'll just keep plugging away. In the meantime, notice what you feel. One more time, and then embrace the tiger. Return to the mountain. Really relax the shoulders, feel nice and calm, nice and relaxed. Relax the jaw, shoulders, hips, Knees, ankles, elbows, wrists, hands. One more time. Okay, hopefully it will work this morning. Rub the hands together. Hopefully you've all got clean hands. That's about everyone. Make sure everyone hand gelled in Ely yesterday before we could rub our faces. And um, polishing the face. Uh, rub the hands together again and give the lower back a rub. And just stand and feel comfortable owning your space for a bit. I feel that quiet quietness. And then make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together, and 